Well, the wind's come blowing through the uh, commentator's box and we can't seem to find the uh, results for the Pro Twin class, the points up till date. So uh, I know that if uh, Bailey Perriton wins this race, I'm sure that uh, he will take out the New Zealand championship for the Pro Twin class. <clears throat> Don't forget too, the one two fives out there. Rogan Chandler is now wearing the number one. He deservedly won that earlier in the weekend after dominating the field for the, just about the whole season. I only saw a couple of times anyone getting in front of me as my voice starts to fail. I'm just going to disappear and get a drink. folks hopefully that'll be better out on the track two classes there the uh, 650 pro twin and there it is Bailey Berrington followed by uh, followed by Dennis Charlotte here we are time man after racing three classes this weekend racing the uh, the lightweight class and winning the championship racing the pro twin class and also racing in the post classic class of the TZ 400 so he's sitting in second place Ben Rosendahl Where's the number one plate? Up till now, he's the current New Zealand uh, Pro Twin champion, but uh, he's going to lose that crown today as well. Don't have the points in front of me, as I mentioned. I think this is a uh, eight-lap race, yeah. Seven laps to go. Bailey Perriton just has to keep a cool head on the man about glass machine and could take out this New Zealand champion. Don't discount uh, Nathan Jane there on the 97 bike, sitting there in fourth place on the track. He's been the rookie of the year. Uh, at the New Zealand Superbike Championships throughout. Well, I'd say now possibly the new rookie of the year is Ben Bygraves. It's uh, come out and sensationally done so well in the sidecar class. And uh, But no disrespect to Nathan Jane. He had a couple of lap records down south somewhere along the line. Can't remember whether he still retains them, but Nathan Jane on a um, bike that's not as quick as the other on his first season down the South Island, he um, did so, so well and got on the podium a number of times. There's the first of the one, two, five, number one, followed by 62. That's a good showing for the IMD 250, the four-stroke machine. At the world level, the one, two, five class has been relegated to it. They're now doing Moto3, which is uh, running 250cc four-stroke singles. And Steve Bagshaw from Wellington has built, been building this bike up for several years and has got David Manuel riding the machine here for the final round of the New Zealand Superbike Championships. The battle is on there for second place in the Pro Twins class. Ben Rosendale's lining up Dennis Charlotte. We'll see down the centre straight. Who's is the quickest bike? Rosendale's close enough to be slipstreaming. There may be five bike leagues in it, but nothing. I see the shadows of the bikes disappearing off, along with the bikes, of course. He closes up there. There's now one bike link between them as they sweep round that Toyo tyre corner. Can he punch in there and get in there and turn one? Meanwhile, Bailey Perriton, the teenager from Hines, just south of Ashburton there, leading the championship and uh, leading the race at the moment. And Ben Rosendale's going to try up on the outside. Who's it going to be? I think Dennis Charlotte has got this corner this time round. Rosendale takes the wider line and right in behind him, Nathan Jane. Looking out for the one, two, fives. Here we go, Rogan Chandler, the number one man. 63, followed by 62. 63, of course, is uh, Ashley Weller. You want to see the size of this guy. He's bigger than me. I'm not a big man, but this guy's a uh, logging contractor. I get his, I'm pretty sure his ginger beard weighs more than Rogan Chandler does, and the way he punched around this 125 is absolutely awesome. Done it a few years ago. Decided to have another look at it, and certainly had a good season too. Another great season to put season uh, premiere for him is Chris Kane as well from Auckland on the 125 GP bike on the uh, 66 machine and uh, I see uh, b -b 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 Brian Hardacre moves up there into 14th place with Jace Augustine and Mark Robertson. Mark Robertson's actually a retirement there. He pulled out into the pit. So plenty of ding-donging going on to the one two fives, but also the eyes are out there for the second, third and fourth place for the Pro Twins as Bailey Perriton on the Man About Class machine disappears into the distance. Second place, it's now Nathan Jane. It will have to go. It was Dennis Charlotte. Dennis tries on the outside as they go into turn one, but Dennis is in a good, solid third place. Maybe he can reel him in. 
It's up to Bailey to make a mistake if Dennis takes for Dennis to take this championship. As it this is the most massive amount of bikes here in the four-stroke and two-stroke one-two-five class. They go across almost four side by side. Bailey Perrington putting in a 110-361. So the lap record is uh, Bailey Perrington with a 109-519. As we've seen later in the day, the lap times are slowing. A 110-361 is quickest lap. We go into the 110-7s from Ian Rosendale. 110-9 on the last lap for Dennis Charlotte. Eight thousandths of a second separating those two riders for their fastest lap earlier on in lap three. So four laps to go for the second to last race of the day. I'm absolutely impressed with this 125 uh, battle. Look at the IMD 250 go up on the inside. He was about uh, three bikes behind there. A lap ago, David Manuel, a very capable rider on the uh, 600 class. We're looking out for that battle for second place for the Pro Twins into turn one. It still is Ben Rosendale, followed very, very closely by Dennis Charlotte. This is right down to the wire. All the other championships have been decided. This is the race that decides the final race, uh, final championship for the New Zealand Superbike Championship. Oh, we've seen some great racing this weekend. We've seen Colin Buckley win. It was Robbie Shaw to win the championships. We've seen Rogan Chandler win the 125 class. We've seen Jacob Stroud win the super light class. We've seen Dennis Charlotte win the uh, the uh, lightweight class. We've seen Lewis Ray win the 250 class. And of course, Sloan Frost win his first New Zealand Superbike Championship title and uh, in such a, do well, not dominating, but such a, a smooth, well thought out, well funded, well maintained team all the way through the season. We hope to see uh, Sloan Frost at the prize giving. He's been absent for the last couple of prize givings, have commitments to try and get people to airports and that sort of thing. We hope to see him there at the prize giving to collect this prize. There's the battle. I think it's Chris Kane out the front coming out of the dipper in front of the IMD 250 as the Pro Twins still battle it out. It is still as Nathan Jane in second spot. The fastest man on the track still is Bailey Perriton. Of these other guys, it is... Uh, Wow, a 110.639 for Ben Rosendale, a 110.747 for Dennis Charlotte, and a 110.877 for Nathan Jane. And that's how they sit on the track at the moment. The sun's back out again. Lost his tummy last night, which is a bit of a pain in the arse. So hopefully, if someone's found them, they can return them. Otherwise, they have to be inside all the rest of the day. I'm going to go to prize giving to have a couple of cups of tea as well. So, uh, Pro Twin Racing out there with two laps to go two laps to go and Bailey Perriton 250 New Zealand champion two seasons ago uh, under the uh, guidance of Merv Orford with the uh, with the uh, Kiwi Stars team went 600 racing last year didn't quite cut the mustard there in terms of uh, finishes got some very good results and and uh, led the um, some of the races there along the line but beat himself up quite badly and then was offered a ride on this bike the white flag is out in one lap, we will know who's the champion. Now, Dennis Charlotte dives up on the inside of Ben Rosendale. So, Dennis Charlotte's never been a quitter. He certainly hasn't given up. So, he's moved up into second place. All he can hope for, and he is a sportsman, he won't be wanting that, but all he can hope for is that Bailey Perriton has some sort of a problem in this last lap. Otherwise, it's Bailey's championship. There it is. He's made the break, too. Dennis Charlotte got through on turn one, and he's got about eight to ten bike lengths above Ben Rosendale, so valuable points there, we don't have the points in front of him, very sorry about that, I think the wind's taken off of them, Bailey Perriton goes into the dipper for the final time, followed by uh, Lapper and then Dennis Charlotte and Ben Rosendale, Nathan James slipped back off further down the pace to fourth place, but certainly some very creditable lap times over the weekend and some great finishes for the uh, rookie of the year in terms of superbike racing this season in my mind and several others as well. Right, the white player, here we go, Bailey Perriton. What a legend, also racing the 600. He's happy, that's his second New Zealand Championship title. Dennis Charlotte, well done for second place. Ben Rosendale in third place there. Looking out for this massive one 2 five race. Rogan Chandler has checked out off of the distance. Had an absolutely perfect run this year and think he's the only person, yeah, he's the only person to win everything throughout the whole season. Pole position everywhere. Done a tip of Carthel like he did in the 125, the 250 production class last year. 
and uh, Rogan Chan has won everything. Wonder what he'll be looking at in the uh, next season. There goes Rogan, another team win. And look at that battle on it. That's Chris Kane in the 66 machine goes through there and to take second place in the 1 2 5. And he is followed by uh, Ashley Weller, David Manuel. Ryan Bradshaw's there in seventh place on the track, but six in the Pro Twins. Neil, I, you're back. I think, um, Spider, I recall something like that, I think, from uh, Matthew Hugenbusen. Uh, dominating racing, uh, I think it was last year, so I think Matt Hugenbusen might have done something similar, winning all the racing in the championship. So, uh, don't know quite whether it's a first, but uh, well done all the same. And thanks to uh, Steve Ward and his continued support of 125 Racing, I'd suggest without Steve we wouldn't see that uh, neat little class, and it truly has got a place in racing. Uh, no longer, of course, does it stand alone as a class to go out there, but with modern uh, uh, transponder timing, of course, it means that you can actually race consecutive uh, classes, or concurrent classes, probably the better word, racing at the same time, and the 125s still have a place. And although getting uh, less mention, it is a great performance. Well done to Bailey. Look at that, Bailey Perrodin already his arm up in excitement. So, uh, well done, Bailey. Bailey Perrodin claiming some uh, deserved uh, accolades there. Wow, you would not have thought after the first uh, two rounds of the series that he would be uh, uh, going to be the winner in the end. He would have thought that something had to go drastically wrong with uh, Dennis Charlotte, and that did not happen. It's just that Bailey got better and better. And I'm sure we're going to see uh, uh, Dennis as the first man to congratulate his teammate Bailey Perrot. A man about glass racing. They are uh, a couple of awesome guys with a, a great uh, a team manager and Alan and Shirell and a good sponsor and a well presented team. Uh, similar looking bikes of course under the co colour decor of Man About Glass race team. So uh, loving their work and their commitment on the racetrack. So uh, well done. So uh, there you go. That